The mother of the murdered teenager, Stephen Lawrence, has declared she has zero trust in the police investigation into how officers handled her son's murder. Doreen Lawrence met the Home Secretary today to demand a public inquiry into claims undercover officers tried to smear her family. Our Home Affairs correspondent Simon Israel reports. It's 16 years since Doreen Lawrence last visited her Home Secretary to demand a public inquiry. That time she succeeded. But recent revelations that her family may have been the target of a smear campaign by police has brought her back to the Home Office to ask for another inquiry. I felt quite sick to the stomach because I think it's the last thing I expected. I think we thought that we heard everything that came out during the inquiry. I didn't, apart from the corruption that we were still um, trying to get to the bottom of, I didn't think there was anything else. How much more do you think there is to know? How long is a piece of string? We have no idea. You know, the fact that our family has had to go through another revelation, how many more are they? We have no idea, but I think unless we get to the bottom, unless we have a public inquiry that tells us and goes through the whole thing, we will never get to the bottom of it. The Home Secretary is holding fire, awaiting the outcome of inquiries by a team she set up to look at allegations of police corruption in the very same case. Their priority has shifted to examining if there's any substance to what the former undercover officer Peter Francis claimed this week. Had I, through my circles, come up with something along the lines of they, the family were political activists, somebody in the family was involved in demonstrations, drug dealers, anything. This allegation dates back to the 90s, in the years which immediately followed Stephen Lawrence's murder. But the impact on today's Metropolitan Police Commissioner and his force is not diluted by the passage of time. The overall impact is profoundly uh, damaging to our, the confidence of the public, particularly perhaps minorities in the police. Whether it happened 16, 20 years ago, 1968, the echo comes down the, the years and people want to be sure it's not happening now. Tomorrow, the Commissioner meets Mrs Lawrence. She sent him a list of 13 questions. He has publicly declared he will try to answer them all. But one of the crucial unknowns will no doubt be whether or not Peter Francis is telling the truth. And if he doesn't have an answer to that, Doreen Lawrence's call for a public inquiry will simply intensify.